Hey, hi, and hello, Mad Ink Pyro here. It is day, what is today, 18? Day 18 of the Keto Journey. Keto Adventure. Keto, whatever you want to call it. Um, keto, losing weight, diet. Pain in my butt right now because we're on lockdown. Um, and we're not really on lockdown. It's kind of like voluntary quarantine. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's been trying, uh, uh, both, like, um, the, the, the diet's difficult to begin with, P preparation of the food is hard to do, um, you know, figuring out your macros and making sure everything fits in a day, it's difficult at best, and then to add this kind of situation on top of it's pretty, pretty difficult too. I did, however, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, steak taco salad last night that was just like, oh my god. Um, I tried enlightened ice cream. It's okay. It's not the... It's not... It's a good substitute. I'm not going to say it's not. But it was definitely not what I was expecting. I've also tried cashew milk to get away from my, you know, two gallon a week milk habit because I can't have milk on keto. It's a big no-no because of the, the sugars. And the cashew milk's not bad. It's, it's taken a little getting used to. You know, everybody says almond milk, almond milk, almond milk. That wasn't me. But the, the cashew milk's not bad. Um, I'm going stir-crazy, as are my kids. Uh, as is Amy. Amy's been home. She's not working today. She's not out in the hustle and bustle. And um, whatever hustle and bustle there is. As I rode through town the other night, uh, it was like a ghost town out there. I mean, there was like nobody. And then during the day, it'll pick up a bit. Uh, but we keep getting, um, now like the malls are closed, so, so that shuts that down. And we keep getting different restrictions put on, different restrictions, and it keeps kind of flowing, um, as as to be expected. As to, uh, I figured that was going to happen. Um, I at this point in time firmly believe that the kids are either going to finish school this year via internet, or they're just going to do what they did in Kansas and and everywhere else and just shut it down. I, this is a whole different scenario, and to be dieting at the same time adds to the stress, at least on my behalf it does. It's kind of one of those things where you never really comprehend the scale of something until, you, until it finally clicks, and it's really clicked in hard now. I, I understand the scale of it now. I, I realize that it's a national thing. You know, I mean, I knew it was national to begin with, but, wow, to, sh to start shutting states down and, and shutting borders down, and, uh, you know, this is, this is messed up. So, yeah, it is, it is pretty serious. I hope, I hope none of, none of you all get it, you know. Um, I wanted to also say thank you to my new subscribers, speaking of you all, um, well, we keep growing, and, and that means you guys are sharing and, and liking my videos, which is cool. Um, I'd like to get more likes and shares and and everything with the videos. The more I can get, the better off we are, or better off I am anyway, uh, as far as continuing to do this. You guys are the reason I do this every day. I have to, it's become habit now to where I have to shoot my video. Um... Amy, of course, has been sitting here kicking my butt, making sure I don't do anything stupid and yelling at me when I do. I haven't yet gone away from the diet. I haven't yet gone, like, and faltered and ate a Twinkie or, or anything like that, which I'm kind of impressed with. And you're talking 18 days. This is, like, the, the third longest commitment I've ever had in my life, you know? Uh, so... It's not so bad. Um, I enjoy the food that I am eating. I, it's just difficult to get used to everything has eggs in it. <laughs> uh, it's, 
And then, of course, with the, again, with what's going on has affected that because you can't get eggs as readily as we were. You know, and before it was just go to the store and pick up another dozen eggs. Now it's go to the store and you might find a dozen or two. And if you do, you buy them and you bring them home and then they're gone in two or three days. With two of us on keto, I, that causes that, you know. Um, I am sorry that I haven't had a, had a um, cook video up. Uh, that's with everything been going on. We've been trying to go as easy as we can right now. With the kids being home 24 hours a day right now. And not, you know, not being the weekend, that's kind of throwing us for a curve, and we're trying to figure out ways to handle them and ways to keep them occupied. There's so much stuff going on that, that it's, again, it's, it's hard to contend with everything and this diet on, at the same time. Um, still going to do it. Not going to give up. Not going to quit. Um, I'm too committed at this point. If I quit, I, I'm just going to like ball up on the floor and cry um <laughs> Amy Amy's still knocking at it I mean she's she's still good I mean she's still she's right here say hi Amy hi guys now you come into the video and say hi yeah no yeah well no, I haven't had a cauliflower sitting here that I have to grind up for my um pizza this evening where me and Amy are gonna do keto pizza with cauliflower crust, that'll be a first for me. That'll be a first for both of us. Well, no, you've had cauliflower crust before. Yeah, the last time you attempted to make it, when we only had one child and he was two years no, old. No, 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 that wasn't cauliflower crust. That was the cream cheese crust, and that was pretty nasty. Oh, well. This is the cauliflower crust. I have not you, done the You cauliflower bought crust. cauliflower crust pizzas. I thought it was, but it was chicken. Never mind, it was a chicken crust pizza. And, of course, there, there's another thing that restricts me, is I haven't been able to eat chicken and, and well, any fowl, for that matter. And uh, that's just limiting me even more. I'm, I'm already limited to begin with, and then to cut out a main protein source like chicken that, that basically carries any flavor, and, and cut that out, too. And I already really don't eat that much pork. I mean, I eat bacon and, and sometimes I'll eat ham, but other than that, I really don't eat much pork. And then, you know, to, to limit myself basically to steak and, and fish is, whew, that's the diet to end all diets right there. But, I'm, but I'm doing it. But I'm doing it. It's only because of you that you can't have fowl. Not because of the diet. Well, yeah, I didn't say it was because of the diet. I said it was because of me. Um, Did I miss that? Sorry. I, I know that uh, that I can't have it because of my restriction. My dietary problem. That's it's my mess up. Well, it's not really a mess up. It's I got sick. I mean, it happens. So when you get sick, you get sick. And then your body reacts differently to things. Um... I have noticed a lot of the swelling has gone off my body. That's that's a cool thing. Um, my wedding ring no longer fits me, um, which is cool. I mean, eight, 18 days in, and I'm already noticing small things. Nothing major yet. Nothing, you know, I, Amy calls them, what do you call them? Non, Non-scale victories. Non-scale victories. Now, I don't know uh, if it's a non-scale victory or what, but I've noticed it. Um, so it is working, evidently. Um, I've drank more water now than I've drank in 10 years. Uh, I've, oh my God, have I drank more water than I've drank in 10 years. And I find myself craving it now, which is kind of weird. That's a new one. But anyway, I just wanted to, to touch base with you guys today. I had to make my video. If none of you watch it, it's, it's for my record. Um, but I hope you guys watch it, and I hope you guys like it. I know, it's just a fat guy sitting on a couch again. I, I apologize with everything that's going on. It's, it's really hard for me to get out to make the video. Um, I am going to get out soon. I may, I, I mean, if the weather lets up, I may go out tonight and go fishing. I don't know. I, I haven't decided whether that's going to happen or not. 
Um, I really want to just to get into the house for a little bit. But we'll see. We'll find out. And if I do, I will definitely take take you guys with me and make sure that you guys get some footage of that so it's not just a fat guy on a couch complaining about his diet. Um, other than that, I you know, I really don't have much else to say today. I appreciate you guys. I, I appreciate everything you're doing. I appreciate the encouraging words. Um, and, I, you know, again, I, as, as I do every day, thank you to our first responders. They're, they're out there still busting their butts, and I can't believe it. <laughs> they, they've got, like, like I said yesterday, bowling balls. That's all i got to say, bowling balls. Um, like, share, and subscribe to the video. Ring the little bell, turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I make a new video. Uh, and the fundraiser, we do have a couple donations. I've got a couple uh, mail-in donations. I've got a couple pri private people that wanted to donate, not by the website. And I also have a one website donation, which is cool. If you guys want to donate, if you can donate, I know it's hard to do right now with everything being so uncertain but if you have it please donate the address to ship stuff is on the Facebook page I you know I'm still thinking about that these people I'm, I I can only imagine okay could you imagine being homeless at a time like this God, that would just be overwhelming um, but they're still gonna need help people are still gonna be homeless at the end of all of this so you guys just Stay tight, man. Stay hunkered down in your houses. Watch your favorite YouTubers. I got a list right here. Look, look. Deer Meat for Dinner, Demolition Ranch, Blue Gabe, Juke Squad. Watch those guys, man. Juke Squad is actually reporting about how the people are being idiots down in Florida and going to the beaches all weekend. Um, you know, these, these guys are some of my favorite YouTubers. Watch your favorite YouTubers. So, you know, make sure you, you show them that you appreciate them as well. And, and don't forget that we still have lives, you know, you can still go outside. You're just kind of limited right now. But, there, you know, this is all going to be okay. And stay, you know, make sure, make sure you stay home, stay entertained. Watch YouTube, watch movies, play with your animals. You know, maybe it's a good time to get the old camping gear out and clean it up and get it ready. Or, or pull the fishing gear out and get it ready. You know, that's kind of what I've been doing. Uh, so, just keep yourselves busy. Don't go stir crazy. Don't drive yourselves nuts. Uh, other than that, I, I think I'm pretty well done. Oh, um, I may be trying to do a live stream if anybody wants to live stream with me. Leave... A comment below so I know that you're interested and I know that you're gonna tune in um, I don't know what day I want to do it on I don't know what time I want to do it you know leave me some suggestions on when people would be able to that would be awesome it'll give us something to do um, inside our homes we can all communicate with each other and not have to worry about contracting um, the virus or anything like that so it'll be fun, it'll be something new for me to try out, and I, I think it'll be a good time. So if you guys want to do that, let me know. But other than that, I'm going to get off here and let you guys go. i got to go cut up cauliflower. So get healthy, get happy, and I'll see you guys.